Hey everyone, this is Maxim from Lemon.O and in this tutorial I'm going to show you two things. How to add a dark overlay when the menu is toggled in Elementor. This is just the default Elementor uh, drop down toggle and how to close it on click of anywhere. So on mobile it also works to close it when you click outside. And then the other thing I'm going to show you is how to have the drop down uh, show up in this fashion and then have all of this be fixed. So if you want any one of these features, no problems, it should work just fine. So the first thing you will want to do is go in your editor, of course, and then uh, you will add the nav menu, however you want. Uh, here for ease and because I wanted it to be sticky, I put it to width in line under advanced width in line, and then I set the position to fixed and I gave it an offset of 20 pixels from uh, the right and then 18 pixels from the top. After this, you will need to add the CSS. So uh, in the right hand tutorial, you will find the CSS that's for the overlay. So if that's the only thing that you would like from, from this, uh, this is what you should get. And then this is to get the drop down being, as, uh, being position wherever you want and have it work in, in the fashion that I have it. So with a specified width and position in that way. So let's start there actually. So this will be for desktop only on mobile or maybe desktop and tablets. Uh, I think on a smartphone, the default behavior is probably optimal because there is not enough room to have something like this. So I will be adding the media queries for this. Something like, let's say, min width, and then it should start at uh, the tablet viewport. All right. And then, uh, so we have position fixed. So that's why it's following everywhere. The width, so if you want to make it a different width, that this is where you would change it because now it doesn't have the proper styling for this. So let's say you wanted it to be thinner or even if let's say you wanted somehow to be like full screen, you could make it something like 100 view width. And then uh, if you want it full screen, then you would probably want something more like right uh, zero. And now of course it covers or hamburger. So you could close it by just clicking outside or maybe just change the color of the hamburger. And, and that would still all work fine because the hamburger is on top of the dropdown. So, and finally, I guess the final choice would be to change this top to bottom. And then it would open uh, like this. It's not great. I prefer the other kind of design. So let's revert back to, to this. All right. So top zero, so that it starts at, at the very top of the viewport. And then margin top, this is just because Elementor had a little bit of margin there by default. So I reset it back to zero. This is for when you are having a look at it from within the editor and you have the admin bar. So it will show up nicely below the admin bar. All right, so now let's have a look at the overlay. So essentially the code should pretty much stay as it is. Uh, if you want to remove the crosshair cursor, you can, you can do this here, but then the default cursor uh, or this comes back and it's uh, the pointer. So personally, I prefer to have the cursor, the, the crosshair here. And then the background color is the other thing that you will probably, uh, that you might want to change. So now I have it at black and then with some transparency. So let's say you wanted it darker, you could increase this. Uh, if you want it lighter, you could decrease it. And if you want it just a all other color, the overlay, you could change those and uh, to the color that you want, essentially, and then adjust the opacity as you see fit. So let's let's keep it like this. And I need this. Uh, all right. When you will first set this up, you will also have to set a little bit of vertical padding for the drop down, as well as the, the typography to make the size a little bit larger, probably. So of, of course, the rest is just Elementor as normal. So under the drop down, you can style everything just, just as you want. So one thing to note is that you cannot have the full width enabled for this to work. So it needs to be disabled. 
And then on mobile, you might have a few like layout issues. It doesn't look great. So you will probably want to uh, essentially to reset the, so in the nav menu, uh, position fixed. So the offset might be better as uh, zero and then zero. Or that one, I guess the vertical offset could probably stay something like 10 pixels. And then the width A should be better as full width. So now we are back to full width sub navigation, even if this isn't enabled. And finally, to position the close icon a little bit better, you can use this here. So when it's closed, it's on the right. And then uh, only when it's enabled, we have the sub uh, navigation. Another small note, sometimes the editor might be a little bit off on this. So now you see there is a gap at the top. Uh, but if we look at the front end, everything looks fine. So in this, this case, you will probably just need to refresh your editor. And then it should work just fine. And as you see, now it's working fine. So that's it for this. And if you're interested in these uh, read more toggles that are across my demo pages or my expand and collapse toggle, which works for uh, any element at all, including sections and the new containers. You can find it in the description as well. I have a premium tutorial that shows how to do this kind of stuff. All right, cheers, have a good one.